Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a general job career reading for um, Pisces for the 26th of June to the 8th of July. I put the decks I'm using down in the description box. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if these messages resonate with you. I'm going to start off with this Angels of Abundance Oracle cards and I'm going to just draw two of these cards uh, to just give us a general idea of the energies working. Okay, so the first card is release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you haven't done something and the world manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. And the second card is raise or promotion. Congratulations, a raise in your abundance flow awaits you. This is the result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So that's pretty go good. Uh, release jealousy and a raise of promotion. Okay, so I'm going to use the Bright Idea deck as the main deck. I've shuffled these cards. I'm just going to shuffle them one more time and then uh, lay the cards out. Let's just cut this deck. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we've got doing persuasion. And uh, this card talks about um, you needing to ensure that people see things um, from your point of view. So uh, you may need to use a bit of persuasion and manipulation of the circumstance so that people start seeing things the way you want them to see it. And uh, they'll be very happy to, to do it. Um, it will be probably people in your workplace, uh, if you want something to happen, that might be the way to do it. So it's really, um, you know, catching bees with honey, if you like. And uh, that would be the, the thing that you will need to do. So the main situation is uh, nurturing. So you are in a position of uh, abundance at the moment or awaiting abundance. Uh, you've put all the hard work into it. See, this woman's baked these cakes, and they're pretty pretty nice. And um, whatever you've done seems to have, um, you've put a lot of creativity and effort into whatever you've been doing, and now you're waiting for, um, for the rewards. You're waiting pe for people to recognize it and, and decide that, you know, whatever you've done is really good, and, um, and it will be, because, uh, because you've put all this effort, and this is a card of abundance, um, and, um, and growth. So whatever effort you've put into your situation is going to pay off. You just have to have a little bit of patience. And um, maybe it's in uh, the card that crosses you is the learning card. Um, and it says that, uh, you know, maybe your whatever efforts you've been putting in, you're waiting for people to, um, to decide whether or not they like it. So you've actually been working very, very hard um, you know, having to juggle time, um, juggle your resources, uh, you know, put yourself on display, show that you are working very well. Maybe a lot of people have been watching you. And now they're taking, um, they're sitting back and um, deciding whether or not, critiquing, critiquing your work. So that's what they're deciding whether or not they like it. And um, you might um, look at how you performed yourself and decide whether or not it was, you know, worth uh, doing it, whether or not all that effort um, amounted to something. And during this period where you've had to, uh, during this assessment period, because this is what you seem to be going through, um, you've had to learn how to control your emotions, um, you know, keep your balance in a situation, balance out the situation, and um, um, it's been quite difficult. So now you're sitting and waiting for people to decide. So these are two cards where you're sitting and waiting after, after performing or doing something and you're waiting to be judged about it or you're waiting to be critiqued. Maybe uh, they've decided that they're going to you know, uh, give you a raise. And um, according to these uh, angels of abundance, there seems to be a raise coming. So maybe this was 
the, the work that you put in and maybe the raise is going to be what the payoff is. So in the last year or so, you've been doing a lot of learning. Um, you've had your head down in the books. You've been ignoring everything. Uh, it's been a bit rocky. There's been a few bumps in the road. Um, you've had to rely on your experience also, apart from all the stuff that you've learned, um, to judge and navigate the circumstances. Um, so you've been quite busy um, learning on the job or learning, um, going taking a course, or maybe you were finishing university, but for some reason or the other you have been involved in studies. And now you're sitting back and you are, are going to be re reaping, or you've been reaping the rewards of all that you have learnt. And um, you're quite uh, happy, satisfied with everything that has come off the situation. Uh, you're taking a bit of a break now. It's not a permanent break. This is an in-between rest phase where you're just relaxing, enjoying um, some time, some R&R, &R, and maybe while you're waiting for a new job or waiting to be assessed in this particular circumstance. So on your mind, you've been uh, feeling uh, a bit overwhelmed, like, uh, you know, you haven't had control over the whole circumstance. Maybe you feel things have gotten away with you. Uh, maybe you have felt out of your depth. You, you haven't had um, control over the situation. Maybe it's in within your job situation, but you haven't had control over it. You felt you've been feeling a bit, you know, like maybe there's too many responsibilities or burdens and you've had to... Um, you know, do a bit of damage control if you like, you know, manage it the best you can. It has seemed to have gotten away with you and you've been very emotional about it. Um, uh, maybe it's upset you a lot that you've had to be so involved in this kind of circumstance. So uh, going into the future is, um, you know, um, you've put in a lot of work, um, you've acquired a lot of things according to this and, um, you know, if you've been working a long time in a particular job, um, maybe you have decided, uh, you know, enough is enough. I've accumulated as much as I can. I'm not going to uh, be somebody that follows the, um, you know, the proverbial carrot. I am going to do something else. So maybe this particular situation also has become a bit, um, as this card says, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed. So if you've been a, in a particular situation for a long time, maybe you've earned as much as you can. You're quite satisfied, maybe you're re nearing a retirement, but also maybe it's overwhelming you and you're thinking um, you want to move on to something else. Um, because this is number 10, it's the card of uh, completion. So you may have accumulated everything that you needed to in that particular position and now you're tired of it and you want to move on. And that could be something coming on. So what you are f uh, feeling within yourself, what you are thinking, is that maybe you have an aptitude for something else. Maybe you, you have better skills and some, you want to do something that you are better suited for and something that you enjoy more, something that gives you pleasure, something that you're really good at. And if you're thinking of going, leaving that particular post, that's a good thing to do. Others, how others see you is that they think that you, know, you have restricted yourself quite a bit. You've sort of painted yourself into a corner um, and the way they see is that you're somebody who doesn't seem to know how to find your way out of this particular situation. You're blindfolded, maybe you have become um, a bit narrow-minded in the way you think. Uh, you're not thinking outside the box. You seem to be getting yourself stuck in situations that shouldn't be, where you shouldn't be stuck, uh, where everybody else can see the solution. You don't seem to find, be able to see the solution to any particular problem. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. That seems to be the way the world is seeing you, that you're very restricted. You can't seem to sort your, find your way out. You can't seem to solve puzzles. You can't seem to solve how to get out of a particular situation. So um, your hopes and fears. Well, you might be spending too much of time daydreaming, um, maybe thinking, um, you know, you want something to come to pass and you're daydreaming about it. Maybe it's unrealistic, and uh, maybe you're, you're fearing that whatever you plan, whatever big move you plan, may be unrealistic and might put you into a situation where you're not able to come out financially uh, clear with that situation. So you're scared of moving. You're scared of taking that chance, taking that leap of faith, and as a result of which, you might be sitting and daydreaming too much rather than acting on whatever you think about. You seem to be a person who knows what they, 
they want and you seem to be a person who has all the skills that you need to make the move but you're scared things are holding you back and so you've got these fantasies rather than putting them into reality so the final outcome is this um, okay so it says that um, you know you you've got um, a lot of creativity um, within you and you are able to work very hard and you are able to work consistently um, you see oh, this man is producing the same picture right through so you are able to work consistently within a particular post and you are able to do very detailed work so you have got the ability to work hard and express yourself quite beautifully what you need now is some strength boldness so you need to focus all your energies uh, very clearly on what you want to do. You've got to, um, you know, stomp out any kinds of fear um, that you have. If you have a fear of not succeeding, then you've got to actually put, you know, kick it to the curb, if you like. You've got to stomp down th out that fear. Take out this, these rose-tinted glasses and see reality for what it is. Be realistic. Make plan, strategize, go down that route and you will be able, you need to direct that, that strength of character, that strength of the mind and you will be able to overcome whatever um, comes your way. And the last card is, um, this is the Wheel of Fortune Tarot but um, here it's luck. You, you need to, uh, luck is coming your way, there will be a change. You need to watch for an opportunity. You need to watch for cycles and trends and, and look at what is going on, what's the general feeling of things. And, um, and you know, if you, you, you can leave everything to chance, but it's going to be you that makes these wheels turn. So you have got to be very, very instrumental in making this change happen. There will be some luck that comes, and it will come. You'll just have to wait a little bit. Um, but it is in the cards that that this abundance will come to you. So you have got to be ready and waiting for that opportunity to uh, when it presents itself. And it will present itself because your your life is about to change. Things are about to get you out of a rut that you may have been in, um, and um, they are about to to bring you out of a situation where there was no abundance. So that's a very good reading so far. So I'm just going to draw um, some cards from the Fairy Oracle deck. I'll just shuffle it and then um, I'll draw three cards from it. Oops, okay. Well, these cards have fallen out. Let's take them. These are four cards. So the first card is the world, a brilliant success, freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. So you might have been involved, as I said, in this card acquisition card. You might have been involved in a job for a long time um, and now it's become a burden um, and you really do want to leave. Maybe you're feeling very depressed. You feel like you're pulling all these burdens and uh, you want to change your career, especially if it's long term. And the world card has come up that says, yes, um, that cycle is complete and you might need to go a new direction. And the second card is the six of spring, which says wonderful news is on its way. Uh, smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. So it looks like um, you might change jobs and there's, um, there's something good, some good news coming your way. And uh, the third card is the star, which says, Look to the future with hope and optimism. The power of faith to move mountains. Happy changes that bring you relief from challenging times. So all in all, very, very good. A lot of hope. There's a lot of success and victory. And the last card is uh, Two of Winter, which says, indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that is best for you rather than trying to please everyone. Um, feeling trapped between intellectual and emotional worlds. So um, you have been feeling um, like, you know, you're not, you're not able to, to move forward. You are feeling trapped. This card does show you know, not being able to make a decision and people are seeing that you aren't able to make a decision and you can't move forward and you can't think out of the box. So this card, the Two of Winter, is saying you need to make a choice. You must stop holding back. And, um, and if you make that choice, 
then you've got all these lovely cards the world the six of sp uh, spring and the star and all these cards say yes there is good news coming there is going to be a change and it's all positive and very very optimistic so with this card the luck card the wheel of fortune card coming in and you watch the cycles, you look for your chance, don't miss this opportunity. And when you get this opportunity, you make sure that you put all your energy and strength into it and get rid of all your doubts and fears and be realistic. And you will be very creative in this particular post that you do. Very, very creative and people will see how good you are. It might well be that it is your vocation in life. It is something that you're very, very good at. So watch out for that. The last two, the, the cards that fell initially was to release jealousy, stop worrying about what anybody else has got to say, and there is possibly a raise or promotion, and it says keep up the good work. So I hope this reading helped you with um, any career decisions that you might be making, and maybe gives you a little bit of insight uh, which way uh, you should be moving in order to get the most, make the most out of uh, the situation you are in, and to gain some success. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.